Hello everybody! Okay, I'm back with a new makeup look. It's kind of a dramatic look. It's, it's a lot darker than um, I probably should be doing right before Valentine's Day, but that's okay. Um, anyways, this is kind of a halo eye with a orangish coppery center. So yeah, this is what I'll be doing. If, if you're interested in getting this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm first taking this, it's called Thank Me Later, it's an Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow primer and I got it in my Ipsy bag and I really like it. The consistency of it is um, kind of like the Urban Decay Fire Potion, so I like it. I'm first just gonna set that <clears throat> just with like my what's left over on my powder brush just so that it doesn't crease okay I'm taking the okay I'm taking the Morphe 350 palette and I'm sure you have heard of it um and if you haven't this is the Morphe 350 palette I don't know if that's in focus or not but it's just full of neutrals and stuff this is one of the best palettes ever and I know that I've told you guys about Morphe before um, but seriously, you guys should pick this up. They stay sold out a lot, so you kind of have to watch their website and, um, like, follow, I don't know, follow them on Instagram and stuff, and they can tell you. But it's, like, $25, and you have all these shadows. They're amazing. The pigment's crazy and all that, but that's beside the point. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take, like, a light, one of these light, probably this one right here, this, like, light brown here, and I'm going to take that in my crease and we're taking that throughout the entire crease normally I kind of focus my color here on the outside but today we're going to take it evenly through the entire crease now that that's totally blended out we're going to take a um, smaller brush, so I'm going to take the Morphe, it's like the Morphe M433, and it, I'm going to take a shade a little darker than what we just used, so probably like this one here, like this one here, and we're going to do the exact same thing with it, except I'm going to put that um, just in my crease and on the outside and inside corners. So, I'm not going to blow it, it out as much as I did the other one. You want it to kind of stay in the center of that. And the way that I'm doing this, we're gonna, I'm going to do a halo look today. So, it's, that means it's like the inner corner and the outer corner is dark. And then I'm leaving the center of the lid open for like a shimmery color <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it blank right now so I'm going to take here on the outer on the inner and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm kind of just going to connect the two right here in my crease but I'm not going to take it onto my lid so you can kind of take your brushes right through your socket and um, just kind of follow your socket there and then kind of lightly blend it just so there's no harsh lines take this is I think this is a, a crown brush I don't even know I don't even know the name of it I don't know the name of it and it's just I don't know if you can see it it's like a just like a little skinny dome brush and it's smaller so <clears throat> on this I'm gonna take on this brush I'm gonna take just the blackout from the I think I'm gonna use, yeah on this one or the blackout from the Naked 2 palette. The good old trusty Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to take it right in the middle of all those colors. And again, I don't want it to be blown out like the rest of it. I want it to be concentrated right in the center just to add the depth in there. So that's why I'm using the smaller brush. I'll 
I'll take that M433 again. And I'm going to kind of blend it with that. Okay, now I'm taking a flat shader brush. This here is a, I just color on my hand, a E, I think it's a, the color writing's rubbed off, but I think it's an E55 from Sigma. Okay, since I didn't film, didn't get the center of this eye on camera, ugh, I'm going to go ahead and show you this eye. Okay, so I spray my brush with my setting spray, make sure it's kind of wet. Now I'm taking that orange shimmery copper shade and I'm going to pack that in the center of my lid when we left it blank. Now, um, you want to like pack it on and kind of tap it. You don't want to brush it or rub it. You want to pack it on. Okay. Now once that gets to the intensity that you want, you take your brush that you put your black in with and you're going to go around the edges of that orange <clears throat> or that copper or whatever color you want to call it. Um, you go around the edges of that and you kind of want to just blend it out very softly so then you're kind of melting that orange into the rest of your crease colors and there's no harsh edges to it. How many times in a video do I say harsh lines? Now I'm going to take some more black and I'm going to deepen the edges up a little more. Take my M433 and blending out those edges. Okay, I'm gonna be taking the Hangover RX from Too Faced. I don't know if you can see it. And this is like the their primer. It has like the coconut water and stuff in it. I just take it all over. Guys, I use that Dr. Brandt, like, pour no more, um, or, like, what was it? No, Dr. Brandt, like, pour microdermabrasion stuff. I don't know. I'll have to get it and see the name of it. But it's, like, this face wash that has, you know, it's, like, a, an exfoliating face wash. And, oh, my gosh, like, I've never used an exfoliating face wash that I love so much. Seriously. It left my face feeling so smooth. Okay. Okay, for the face, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and this is in shade 103 Natural Buff. And taking it on my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. concealers here. I have the um, Naked Skin or the Naked Urban Decay. What is it called? Oh my gosh. Naked? The Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And I have it in the shade Neutral or Fair Neutral, which is super light right now. So I'm going to take <clears throat> the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. I'm going to use them both, kind of mix them together. Um, and I'm going to take that Master Conceal on my finger and kind of dot it where I want it. I just like the consistency whenever I mix them together. I don't do a lot, I just do a tiny bit of this. Just to brighten that up and then I go back in with my Real Technique sponge and I start to blend. Now when I do my concealer, I think I, I don't know if I've talked about this before, um, I do the triangle motion and then I take it back to kind of help clean up my eyeshadow right here. 
but I don't take it all the way back to my hairline because if you pull that highlighter all the way back to your hairline I feel like my face is already wide enough and if you pull it all over your hairline it kind of adds to the width of your face a little um, so if you if you feel like your face is long and skinny you could do that but I feel like I don't really want to add any more um, I don't even want I don't want to make my face look wider so I just take it to about right there and then I kind of blend it in with my foundation now as soon as I get that blended out I take my more Laura Mercier the secret brightening powder what is that? yeah for your under eyes and I use a elf brush it's a I think it's like their elf blush brush I want to say but it's just it's like a dollar uh, it's like three dollars I think but I like the shape of it and it it fits perfect under my eye so I just take it in there and I just kind of lightly set it. I don't want to get too much powder because if you get too much powder it looks kind of crepey under there. And then I kind of just set that area that I just concealed. Okay, now I'm taking that, um, now I'm taking this, the Naked Concealer one more time. I'm going to take it to highlight because it's so stinking bright and um, I'm going to take it down my nose and I take just a little because it's so bright with my sponge. contour I'm taking the Bahama Mama um, contour powder my gosh it's got all over my shirt okay taking that contour powder and doing my normal contouring This foundation, the longer that it's setting, it's kind of, the longer that this foundation is setting, I feel like it's getting a little dark, oxidizing a little. So I'm going to take this bronzer, it's from Cargo, and it's called Medium. I don't know, just their Medium Bronzer. It has a tiny bit of a shimmer in it, so I'm just going to kind of take it and rub it just down here a little. Give me a little glow going. I'm trying to find, like, I'm in between foundations like this is a um, summer foundation for me so it was pretty dark but I've been tanning so my winter foundation is too light so that'll help a little a little trick a little trick of trade there I'm sure you guys already do that right okay now what's next now I'm gonna do blush and for blush I'm taking Mac Melba one of my favorites that I use all the time on a Real Techniques blush brush. And highlighter. I'm taking the Mary Luminizer by the Bomb. What's new, right? Taking it right on the highest point of my cheekbone. You see it? I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty. It's there. Now I'm gonna take just like a little fluffer brush on my nose. And then on my Cupid's bow. 
Okay, now for the under eye area. I use these two brushes. Um, one of them is a Sigma E30 pencil brush. And then the other one is a Morphe C432 flat definer brush. Got it? Okay. Now I'm taking the dark brown that we used. I'm just taking like a like a chocolatey brown color out of that Morphe 350 palette. And I'm putting it on the outside. And then I'm taking our very first, the light brown that we use for our transition color, and I'm just going to blend it. Make sure I'm recording. Yeah. Now, same thing on the inner corner. Now I'm taking, what are you? You are a Sigma, a Sigma F70. And I'm just going to take that, um, our lid color, the shimmery orange copper color, and very gently try to not get any fallout on the cheeks there. Very gently kind of blend it right here in the center. So you're pretty much doing the exact same thing on the lower lid as you did on the, your top lid. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz for brows in the color Dark Brown. Now I'm just going to take the NYX Liquid Liner. Putting lashes on, I'm just going to take this Urban Decay Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm just going to kind of barely run it through my lashes. Okay, now I'm taking the Velour, the Velour, oh they're silk lashes. The Velour Silk Lashes from Sephora that they just started carrying. And this is the style full of it. Okay. I'm taking the NYX Pencil Liner in Nude Pink. Okay, then I'm taking the Smashbox... What is this called? Le Be Legendary Lipstick in the color Audition. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that look. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up for me. That would be great. And share it with your friends. And um, I want to say thank you guys so much. I My goal was to hit 100 subscribers at least by the end of this week because I had not really been focusing on like getting my channel out there and I'm starting to do that. So thank you guys for helping me share it. You guys have been awesome. Um, if you guys would, um, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any requests or any looks or any questions, um, feel free to ask me down below. And thank you guys so much once again for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye! Makeup on. What, what? I don't want to wash it off. <laughs> I just finished it. Now I gotta go to the gym. You think I should go to the gym with like beat face and fake lashes and everything? They're gonna stare so hard. Is it right though? Is it right though, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it.